More than a week after a suspected drunk driver crashed a van through a South Dallas home, today it was finally removed. Aaron Jones is live in the neighborhood of Cy Blackburn Circle near I-635 with the details. Aaron? Well, Gimmel, we're told up until this morning, crews were not able to pull the van out of the house because of the recent storms. But you can see the work they did here behind me. They were able to get the van out, and then they boarded up this house again. The homeowners, though, say that there's still a lot of work to be done. I don't know. This is a huge van. At first, she didn't think it would happen. But Monday morning, Valerie Smith watched as crews removed a van from the back of her house. I know it's big, but not this big. Up until now, Smith had only seen angles of this van. Easter Sunday, around 4 p.m., a man drove it straight through the back of her house. My daughter was upstairs when it happened, and she was asleep. All of a sudden, I heard, boom, you know, a bunch of noise, and when I ran the living room, this guy then crashed in the house. Smith says she's thankful the driver, 32-year-old Fidel Alvarado, didn't hit anyone. Several family members were home. Alvarado was later arrested for driving under the influence. Smith says he does have insurance, which will hopefully cover the cost of repairs to her property. The walls have been compromised. Everything upstairs has probably been compromised. It'll be a while before we go back, get, be able to live in the home. Yeah, but, uh, but we'll be able to get some of our belongings out today. Yeah. And for right now, the Smiths Insurance is covering their hotel stay. We're told that the next step in this process is for structural engineers to come out and determine what repairs need to be made next. Smith says she'll be able to move into her house in about six months to a year. Live in Dallas, Aaron Jones, CBS.